I keep my guard locked. I come all the way up. Then he's gonna push through it. I, I lose the Kimura. Yeah? Then he's gonna keep her hands on the mat. I get the foot on the mat. I come up. I forgot to shrink back. Then he's going to push me back once again on my back. Okay? So I come up, get my foot on the mat, scoot back, push me back, Danny. When she pushed me back, look how much space I have to get around Danny's arm and not be able to get to the Kimura. Yes? Fabrina, why do we have to fall at the 90 degree angle? I fall straight. Her elbow should be connecting to my chest. It can straight the arm and grab around my neck. Which means that it's a gamble, okay? So, and also in this point over here, if I if I go for the kimura with the, the, the guard locked, then it can roll on her right shoulder. She's going to roll, 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 roll. I'm trying to finish. I can't finish because I don't have the angle. I have to come up to the mouth position. And guess what? I lost the position. Of course, Fabrina, but we ended up on the mouth position. Yes, but our goal is to finish the kimura. Okay, so we don't lock the close guard. So we have to be open mind to learn something new, yeah? So get the foot on the mat, we come up, scoot back, and then I get to the Kimura, switch the grips to the C grip, this one to the monkey grip. Now I'm going to fall at the nine degree angle. All right. So when I get to the 90 degree angle, if you notice that my top leg is blocking Dennis' lower back. My left knee is blocking her right hip. I'm, I'm not going to grab her arm and I'm going to tell Dennis to roll on her right shoulder. Go for it. She can't. Not only that, her elbow will be connecting to my chest and I'll be able to push her wrist to the back of her head. Are you guys following me? Yeah? It's really good details. If you guys write down those details, you never ever lose the Kimura. Okay? So don't close guard straight. Get your foot on the mat. Come up and always remember to scoot back. Because the counter for this position is when I come up, then it will push me back. When she push me back, that is a space. If I don't scoot back, when she push me back, push me back and what? There is no space to get to the Kimura. Does it make sense to everybody? Yes? All right, all right guys, that's, that was really good. Next one. Close guard. Close guard. Now forget about to grab your partner's wrist. I broke my partner's posture. I get my left foot on my elbow. Don't grab the wrist. Come up on your elbow. Scoot back. Straight your arm. Grab your partner's elbow, hook your partner's leg, right? If you're, imagine that your partner has, uh, is on, your, on, uh, on uh, his knees. And I hook my partner's leg, grab the elbow, I'm going to lift my hips up above my partner's hips, sweep my right leg, and step my left leg over, excuse me, my left leg over my partner's hips. And I get to the mouth position. Again. Break the posture, don't grab the wrist, left foot goes to the mat, come up on the elbow, screw back, straight the arm. Hook the leg, grabbing, excuse me, grabbing the arm first, then hook the leg simultaneously, okay? There, and then as I come up, getting my hips above my, partner, my partner's hips, I'm going to sweep my bottom leg, simultaneously I'm going to bring the arm around my hips and step the leg over my partner's hips. Get them out position. Okay, one more time, quick. So I break the posture first, don't grab the wrist, get the left foot on the mat, come up, screw back, straight the arm, grab the arm, my partner's arm. Hook the leg, hook. Lift the hips up above my partner's hips. And as I do the hip bump sweep, I wanna make sure I sweep this leg and bring my partner's arm around my hips and step the leg over and land on mount position. Copy? All right, get set, are you ready? Action.
I have Danny here to help me with the hip pump sweat. Now we're going to do one time we're going to do the Kimura and one time we're going to do the hip pump sweat to Kimura. But first let's learn the hip pump sweat. I have my partner and I'm going to break her posture. And what we do here, mistake. We come up on her elbow and keep the guard locked. I'm going to try to do the hip pump sweat. Then it's going to fight me. Fight, fight, fight through it. And then she's going to push me on my back once again. I need to break her posture. Don't be afraid to unlock your guard. She's not going anywhere because my foot is le my left foot is on the mat. My right leg is hooking her hips. I come up on my elbow. I'm going to scoot back. Mistake. I don't scoot back and I don't straighten my arm. And I'll try to do the hip pump swift. Push me back, push me back, push me back. That's it. And why? Because my hips are below Dennis hips. My hips supposed to be above Dennis hips. Are you following me? Yeah? So as I come up, as I come up, I scoot back, grab her elbow. It's straight my arm. Now, look how much space I have. As I scoot back and grab with Dennis' arm, look how much space I have in between her hips to my hips. Can you guys see it from there? Yeah, it's a lot of space, which means that my arm, right arm is straight. I'm grabbing Dennis' arm. But if people can say, Cobrinha, in this case, I can see that Danny, she can posture up. She posture up, I'm going with Danny. She's in trouble. If she posture up, she's in trouble because I'm going to sweep her. My hips are above Danny's hips. And, Cobrinha, but she can push you back. Go for it, Danny. No, she cannot because of this arm. I'm not on my elbow. I have enough space. When she pushes back, she's, she's going to be connect with me. And one mistake we miss as well is the hook on this leg, which means that when I go for the sweep, I forget the hook, and then it's going to step the knee over. And I'm going to lose the hip pump sweep. But if I hook her leg, if Danny is not sitting on her heel, it's okay, Danny, mm -hmm. don't sit. If she's not sitting on her heel, I hook right there. That's it, she's not going to post down. If she's sitting on the heel, and then I hook as close as possible to her ankle. Lift the hips and sweep the leg and step the leg over to the hip pump sweep. Are you guys following me? Yeah? But in this case, we're going to do. I want to pinpoint, pinpoint those mistakes first. And now we're going to do the hip pump sweep. But we have to commit to the hip pump sweep. Sometimes what we do. We don't commit to the hip pump sweep, which means that we fake the hip pump sweep. And then my partner will be able to push my back on the mat once again, right? So I'm going for the hip pump sweep. I'm going hard. If Danny doesn't post her hand, I'm going to complete the hip pump sweep. If she posts, okay, I'll keep, keep her arm over there. I'm going to drop as close as possible on my elbow to Dennis' arm. Look what I'm doing. Oh, my hand was there. I was grabbing her elbow, drop. Now I'm going for the Kimura, and I fall at the 90 degree angle and push her wrist to the back of her head. And she'll tap. Cobrinha, you said that, but if we, some, some people like to do, we teach, we fake the hip pump sweep. I'm going to fake, okay? I think that is going to pose here. Now I'm going to fall for the Kimura. I just fake, okay? When I go for the Kimura, then you'll be faster than I, and she'll be flat in my back. That is. That's the reason why we don't fake. We go for it. She posed it. Now we see the arm. Okay. All right. In this case, right now, I didn't fake. I'm going for the hip pump sweep. And Cobrinha, but in this case, I feel like Danny, she can go back and push your back on the mat. Try Danny. No, let it go. Take your hand off the mat and go for it. She, I'll sweep her. Because I'm committing to the hip pump sweep. But I see that Danny is able to push me back. 
I drop on my elbow as close as possible to her wrist. And there it is, the Kimura. I don't want the mount position. I want to get to the Kimura and then fall at the nine degree angle. Once I fall at the nine degree angle, the fight is over. It doesn't matter how flexible Danny is in this position, on her shoulder, on her elbow, she is going to tap. She has two options. One, tap and be safe. Second, she's going to get hurt. If we fall at the nine degree angle, if we forget and fall with the close guard, and she's going to roll on her right shoulder. I have to let it go and come on top to the mount position. Does it make sense, everybody? Yeah? Friday, we're going to review those details again. Next week, we're going to review those details as well. And I'll let you guys ask me questions if you guys have questions later, okay? So now let's practice the hip bump whip. Your partner is going to block. As your partner blocks, remember, we, go, we have to fall on our elbow as close as possible to your partner. Rest from here to there. Get to the Kimura, fall at the 90 degree angle, and finish back again to the close guard. Copy. Have fun, guys. As I break my partner's squash, I'm holding the wrist. My foot goes to the mat, I have to scoot back. Perfect. But, but sometimes the, the opponent is going to fall over you and it's going to be really hard to scoot. So let me see here. Danny, can I put it for a second, please? Any advice on this situation? Yeah, so let's say... So let's say I, I broke Danny's posture, okay? And then let's say Danny, yeah. it's putting a lot of pressure on me, okay? So she, now she's down, yeah? Okay, so now what I do, Perfect. I need to look at my legs over here, bro. I'm going to straight the legs. Now put a pressure, Perfect. Danny. Put, now, if, if, uh -huh. let's, say, let's, say, let's say Danny's putting pressure, okay? So now what I'll do, I'll thread her. I'll and thread then, the collar. Look at this, I'm threading the collar now. Go down, Danny. If she stays down, I'm going to switch to the cross choke, yeah? So now we're taking to the next level, uh, Bruno. So when she push her up, there it is. Boom. Perfect. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, please. Hey, Professor, do you find that you have to vary the distance? Uh, like, I, I find that with the hip bump sweep, I have a hard time when the opponent has, like, the weight differential is a little bit too much. Like, they're quite a bit heavier than me. So does moving farther away, does that make it easier I always does. And, and then, uh, uh, what it's important thing, Nick, it's timing. It's everything's timing. So you have to either pull your partner a bit, and when your partner tries to push her up, you come up. If your partner is pushing me up, you don't have to screw back. That's you come up and then, boom, hit the hip bump swift. But if your partner, if you break your partner's posture, your partner stay in the position, and you're holding, you're not holding the wrist, you're coming up, always scoot back and find a way. So the tricky for this position, the detail for this position is when we scoot back, straight his arm. That's it. When we straight his arm and grab the arm, we'll be able to hit the bump whip. Even though my partner is heavier than me, and I'll be able to lift my hips above my partner's hips. And the reason why people will become heavier over us is because we can't lift our hips above our partner's hips because we forget to straight the arm and we forget to scoot back but when we scoot back straight the arm look how far i can lift my hips look how high above my partner's hips and i'll be able to grab the arm and i'll be able to hook the leg and hit the bump sweat and don't forget to sweat this leg okay yeah yeah it I feel like I get to that point and they just sink all their weight down and I'm stuck in that. It puts a lot of pressure on you, but I'm telling you, if you, every time you scoot back, you'll be able to make more space. If you can't make space, let's say I, you scoot back and I close the space once again, then it means that you have to trick me. Not trick me, but you have to set me up for the choke. 
I need to posture up. When I posture up, you go back to the hip pump swim. Yeah? So you have, once, you, once you tie those combinations, it's going to take your game to the next level. Because if I just keep tunnel vision, the hip pump swim, uh, maybe I won't get it. And I'll get frustrated. And the goal in Jiu Jitsu, remember, it's not getting frustrated. It's to frustrate people. That's the goal. I want you guys to drill. That's going to be your homework. I want you to write down the, the pinpoint. I want you to pinpoint those mistakes. Pinpoint those mistakes. Because when you pinpoint those mistakes, you're going to learn more those details. What, what, what you should do and what you should not do. I want you to write down. Yeah? Okay.